Hello, friends. Oh, geez, excuse me. I had to burp like as soon as I, <laughs> as soon as I said that. Oh my god. Uh, Lord Vermonard here again in my garage. Um, we are gonna keep hacking away at this car. Well, not hacking away now. We're putting we're putting crap back together now. Um, and it's mostly going okay once I figured out some of the weird things that were going on. Uh, my my marker light seems to have fallen out for some reason. Uh, let's let's see if we can fix that real quick. I'm pretty sure that's a screwdriver here. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Is this one? Whoa! Is this one connected? That one's good. Okay. All right, here we go. Um. All right, yeah, I gotta reorient myself with the controls as usual. Um. <clears throat> so, the last episode, uh, I nearly lost my mind, but we got a lot. What is that? Is that the? You know what? I don't care. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Um. Yes, in the last episode, I nearly lost my mind. Um, but we we got a lot done. Uh, we persevered. We pushed through the pain, and uh, <laughs> and um, and got some stuff together here. Um, so this thing is starting to kind of look like a car now. Um, I was oh my god, I didn't know it was that color. Huh, that's all dirt. Sweet. All right. So yeah, uh, I was hoping you guys would, would throw some guesses out there as to what this thing will be worth when I'm done. And if I'll even make any money off of it or not. Um, so I, I don't think that, I don't know if that's going to happen this episode. Maybe? I, I don't know. I guess it depends on how much the game decides to screw me. Um, because it does that. A lot. And anyone who's played the game seems to agree that there's a lot of jank in this game but it's also still fun i'm you know like i said i i'm not if this game wasn't fun i wouldn't be playing it right uh i'm having a i'm having a good time with this game um and i think the developers done a hell of a job uh and sometimes like part of the you know like i said i've always mentioned this before sometimes like jankiness in games is appreciated uh you know it, it doesn't always upset me like especially when it's like a okay so like some of the jankiness that happens in Skyrim that's been like, you know, I, I can't think of anything specific off the top of my head, but I'm sure all of you can probably think of something in Skyrim that is janky as hell. Um, you know, something like from a from a double A game or a triple A game or something like developer um, having some kind of like crazy janky thing happen or multiple crazy janky things happen. Yeah, that drives me insane. Um, but we're, we're talking about a single developer doing an indie game or something, man. Like, yeah, I'll definitely let some of that stuff fly, especially if the, when the janky stuff happens and it's funny, right? Then it's like, it even makes me care even less. So, so yeah. Um, okay, I think this thing is pretty clean now. It's kind of nice when the uh, when there's basically no interior in here. You can just hop in the car and go to town. Every single piece is clean. Sweet. All right. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. You go there. Okay. So, what is this car's actual color? Because I think while we have it blown apart, it's probably a good idea to just start painting it, right? I think somebody, I think my neighbor is seriously mowing the grass, literally as soon as I started doing this. For God's sakes. <sighs> Alright, anyways. 0E925A. 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 0E925. Alpha. There we go. So let's buy, um... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That ought to be enough to do the whole dang thing. Probably. Um, 
Yeah, well, before I do that, let's, um, we need to fix some rust here. So, let's go ahead and... I need this. You know, I should probably just buy another grinder and do what I do in real life. Just have one grinder with a... with a cutoff wheel and then have another one... with a, uh... with a, you know, a regular abrasive wheel. So you don't have to fiddle around with switching them back and forth. Okay, um... See, so this is much easier to do when there's no other parts on the car. Okay. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day today, finally. After I feel like it's been at least an entire week, if not longer, with just nothing but rain. I had to wake up way earlier than I wanted to on a weekend to uh, take my kid to his first soccer game of the season. Um, yeah, and the field was very wet still. Uh, it was cold, it was windy, but the sun was out. And that's a good thing. They got... They got absolutely murdered, but then again, it's the first game of the season. Uh, they've only had one practice because of the weather. Um, so, you know, whatever. It's also kids' soccer. Like, who cares? <laughs> it's just it's just fun, right? You know, it's just to get him to hang out with his friends and get him some exercise, you know? But, uh, yeah, look, look, this is, um, this is a little bit tweaked here on the back. There's a lot of crap that's tweaked on this car still. Um, and somebody mentioned that Bondo lowers the value of the car. I didn't actually know that. But, um, yeah, I, I, I think for the amount of, you know, I don't know how much or what percentage or whatever it lowers the value of the car, but I think, you know, this isn't going to be a show car. I just want to, like, put it back to as good as new condition as I can and save as much money as possible while doing so. And then just see how much it's worth. And see if we actually make anything off of it. She certainly has a lot of rust on her, though. Must be an Ohio car. <laughs> And I know people from Canada are probably like, oh, well, you should see the cars in Canada. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, I know. I, you know what? It really doesn't make that much of a difference. If you live any place where they put salt and shit on the road, it's going to screw up your cars, man. That's just all there is to it. And I hate it, and it sucks, and I wish that there was something better, but there isn't. And we just have to deal with it, I guess. I can't believe it's even letting me fix this panel. It's so screwed up. <laughs> and this was the, the new front panel that I got from the junkyard, too, I think, isn't it? Well, new. The, the replacement. <laughs> the replacement front panel that I got from the junkyard. I'm also, like, waiting for it to, like, pop clean, but it doesn't seem to be doing that, which means there's probably more rust on it somewhere. That I'm not seeing. Probably behind the friggin' oh, it's up here. Look at this. Yeah. Okay. Um let's see here. I wanna I wanna look inside. I should have just taken the grill off. That would have made more sense. I don't know if there's any more rust on it. I can't really see. So there's a big hole right there where the grill goes. I don't see any more on there. Ain't no big deal. Don't cost nothing. Don't cost nothing to grind it. Um... 
I think that's clean. That looks clean to me. Yes. Okay. Um. Well, oh, that popped clean right away. Nice. So I bonded this. I, I'm just curious if, like, if grinding the bondo away, like, fixes it. <laughs> like, does that make it not worth less anymore? Um. Let's just check that for fun. Twenty-five thirty-six. All right. So let's just grind this away. Twenty-five thirty-six. Okay, let's just see if that made any difference. It did not. Okay, so once you bond to it, then that does it, I guess. <sighs> All right, well, good to know. There's a little more rust down here in a place where you probably can't get to. Because the physics of this game are a little weird. Oh, for God, just... Grind the spot. I want you to grind this, dummy. <sighs> okay. And yes, it would have made more sense to just grind these clean before I bought them on there, because that's what you would do in real life, but... I was having a moment when I was playing this the last time, so... Why are you rolling? I didn't tell you to roll. Come on now. Ah! Uh, uh, okay. Just getting it. Is that what you want? Ah, uh, I'm inside the car. Okay. Stand up. Stand up, I say. Okay. I think that... I think that got it. No, it didn't. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Um, what the actual hell is going on here? Well, my guy is... Okay, here, crouch in the car, then jump over... Oh, okay, jump, okay, jump over this. Now zoom into that. Oh my god! Okay. All right, I got that bit. Now, I just want to, I just want to get this part. Why? I also want to do it without pushing the car somehow from the inside. I'd like to know how he's doing that. Did I get it? Oh my god. Oh, it's so close. <clears throat> well, that's going to drive me nuts. I might need to... I actually might need the sandblaster to get that proper. Uh, what does the rust condition look like? It still has rust on it somewhere. I wonder if it's counting the, like, the doors and crap. Or if it doesn't count stuff that's not attached. I don't know how that works. Um... I certainly don't see anymore. Oh god, don't have a meltdown. I just put you back together. None of that. Let's try the trunk, maybe? Let's put my light on, even though it doesn't help at all. Uh, see, the floor pans are good. The rear, the trunk floor is good, right? Yeah. And I already went through all this. I guess there could be some behind the plate. Uh, I don't see any back there. All right. 
Well, I don't know what it's complaining about because I don't really see any more other than that one little bit on the rocker that apparently I can't get. So that got that part, it looks like. Man, I'll grind the whole friggin' car down. I don't care. <laughs> um, this looks... Okay, that's just the supports there. It's not actual rust. Uh, that looks fine to me. This rocker is fine. Where's the rust hiding? Come on. I'm still kind of concerned about this front panel because there was a lot on this and it never really like popped clean, you know, how they do sometimes. I'm just going to grind it all. Um, where are we at now? <laughs> that lowered the color condition, but the rust is still it's still showing rust somewhere. I don't know about that. That's just it's just weird. The only thing I can think of is it's this stupid spot here that I can't reach. I've seen it like under this under this B pillar before as well, like on the rocker under the B pillar. Um. It doesn't seem to be the case here. I'm sure this is this is the right way to do it right here, just like this. <laughs> All you got to do is shove your grinder through the metal of your car and uh then it, then it then it freaking comes clean. It still hasn't gotten clean yet. I really don't want to cut this stupid panel out. Oh, look at that. That's where it's hiding. All right. I bet it doesn't even care about that rocker rust. Ah, this was a tricky bit right here. Boom. Now it's clean. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's some right there too. Look at that. Come on. Get it. It doesn't let you get, like, right down. I don't understand why it doesn't let you do that. Also, why does it keep rolling around like that? I don't want you to do that either. Did that get it? Nope. Oh, for crying out loud. But there's some behind that, too. Son of a... Okay. All right. All right. All right. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Just cut the GD MF and piece of... 
<sighs> Wait, I don't think I had to cut that. All right, here's a stupid effing rocker <laughs> with the stupid effing rust on it that I can't get because this game is dumb. All right. <laughs> I'm not really, I'm not really angry. I'm just <laughs> yelling. Okay. See? Look at that. Wow. Cool. 20 minutes of futzing around and all I had to do was, wait, I can just leave that off. I gotta, I gotta stick the panel back on. Um, so that got the, that got, that got all of it off of that, right? Yeah. I should really put the emergency brake on this thing if it doesn't already have one, because this is getting annoying having it just roll around like that all the time. Okay, we'll grab Mr. Welder and do that one that I screwed up and that one to hold it on and go in here. And somehow I used the entire electrode in two shots. Which is awesome. Uh, let's see here. Well, fine. <sighs> and you can't put the electrode. Oh, nuts. I think I just lost the electrode, didn't I? Nope, it's right here. Okay, you can't put the electrode. Okay, I really did lose it now. I picked it up and then accidentally put it back down. And now it seems to be... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Okay, go there. You gotta take this off and put it on the ground. For some reason, it never lets me put it on the thing when it's when it's attached to the... when it's attached to the thing. <laughs> I don't understand why. Okay, um, here, let's, yeah, I don't think it makes any difference, because I don't think it has e-brakes. All right, Ru what was I doing? Rust condition, where are we at? There we go, look at that. Okay. It's clean and it's rust-free, so now we can start painting things. Um... All right. Uh, is that the right color? Yeah, I guess it is. There weren't too many too many panels on this thing that were the original color. All right, here we go. Here we go. Get all these bits. I think we did. Okay. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on my sign. Okay. All right. That's an empty one. Grab another. Yeah, I think there's still some... Oops, I looks like I went a little nuts with the grinder there. Um, there's still some spots that I think I'm going to try to bondo up just to see if I can straighten it anymore. So this is not a final paint here. This is just going to be a first pass, I guess. Got to have them green green wheels, too. Nothing like color matched wheels. Nothing says quality like color matched wheels. <laughs> I don't actually don't have a problem with colored wheels. Um, like matching the color of the wheel to the car is a little bit strange to me, but you know, whatever. I usually like to pick something that complements it. Or even contrast it a little, you know? It's like even like, you know, the whole gold wheels thing is super overdone, but I still think it looks extremely ta tasteful on uh, the right colored car. Not all cars, not all colors, not just Subarus, but like, you know, 
Lots of cars can look good with that. I, I really wanted bronze wheels for my GTI, too, because it's red. <clears throat> okay. Never got them, though. And the car is currently not on the road, so it doesn't matter. All right. <clears throat> that rust up there? What is that? I don't know. I don't know. Well, this is looking pretty good already. Uh, are all the wheels? Yep, all the wheels are painted. This panel all seems to be painted the right color. Um, It's looking like a car again. Let's see if I can get in here without sending it over the cliff or some other nonsense. If I can scooch over here. Yeah, you can see this panel is a little bit wonked. I wonder if there's any way I can fix that. I don't think the hammer is going to let me... Let me beat it out. I can try it again, but I don't think it's going to let me. Oh, looky there. No kidding. Look at that. That's basically as good as new, just like that. <laughs> it's still a little bit wonky. I don't see the, the hammer icon anymore either, so that's probably it. I wonder... Um, yeah, see, I'm going to try to... Try to bonder that out a little. Oh, I missed that spot. Oh, wow. Okay. See, that these look straight to me. This is all straight. That's pretty good, actually. Actually pretty good. Uh, let's grab this one. I think this one's used. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fix the creases. Yeah, this back panel is definitely not straight. <laughs> It's too bad I couldn't have hammered more of that out. All right, what about here? Okay, that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, let's um, continue with the spray and see what we can get here. Ugh, that one's empty. All right, at least now these panels ought to line up, at least close enough. Let's fix this spot that I, that I missed. Close that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we get the taillights and crap stuck on there. Nobody will even know. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I am... Uh, Pleasantly surprised at how this is turning out so far. Also, who the hell would have a blue interior with this color green? Oh my god. 
Barf. <laughs> okay, so let's check. Um, all right, that definitely improved the value substantially. Uh, the color condition's almost good, too. Sorry, I had to take a drink of my uh, lovely iced coffee that I made myself. The problem with iced coffee is I only had one coffee this morning because it was, you know, early. Uh, the problem with iced coffee is I suck it down so fast because I love it so much. Okay, um, <clears throat> what should we do next? Um, I kind of think that having the car in this kind of torn apart state is a good time to to do some of these jobs that are a pain in the butt. I really wish I had the lift though. But I'm I'm not really I don't think I want to like start putting all the interior back together. Uh I guess I could start getting the well, do I really want to do that? I don't know that I want to do that. Um, maybe the bumper and the headlights. So that's the right side blinker that I don't need because this front panel had them on there, right? Yeah, it did. Okay. Wasn't worth anything anyway. Let's take this headlight. I can stick that one on there. No, I could have just gotten the, the, the dual round or the, uh, the single round headlight set up and then I wouldn't have to worry about um, getting four headlights for it but all right where are those stupid screws at I can never find them I have to take the grill off I think aim why do you do this it says I can remove it, but then I try to remove it, and it doesn't let me remove it. And then you just get a little closer, and then it works. Arg. All right, let's leave... Nope. Let's leave this grill off. I'm just going to leave it over here. Um, and we need two more headlights. I'm just going to order these. Um... Because they're really not that expensive. There's two headlights, 21 bucks. I'm gonna write that down. Two headlights, dollars. Oh yeah, in case anybody's wondering, um, the the cost of all of the parts that I've bought so far. As of the end of last episode, was two thousand three hundred forty-five dollars and fifty-five cents, give or take. I think there were maybe maybe some things that I missed, or the prices weren't exactly right. But that's a pretty good ballpark. So even if I sold the car right now for what the game says that it's worth, I'd be almost making breaking even. Uh, now remember the cost of this car. It was the it was the absolute cheapest one at the shop or at the uh, junkyard. It was seven hundred and eighty dollars, I think. So I think making money is definitely going to happen. How much money we make, uh, I don't know yet. Okay, and now I think we can put this grill back on, and that will complete this frontal area. Anybody else think the word frontal area or the phrase frontal area is kind of funny? I always have. All right. Um, bumper. Nope. Why can't I clean the bumper while it's not on the car? Oh, there it goes. No, you could do that. Whee! Okay. <laughs> Can you do that with the with the paint too? 
I'll try it. I didn't I didn't know you could aim the hose like that. It's not totally clean, but I'm, I'll give it another good once over before I sell it. Okay, there's that. Where's my wrench? I never remember where these bumper bolts are. There and there. Okay. All right. Um, I'm not going to put the hood on yet because they're a pain in the butt to deal with while you're trying to do stuff under the hood. Um, I don't know what to do next. I think, I kind of think that what I should do is, uh, maybe make another junkyard run to pick up some of these, like, straggling parts. I know I need, like, parking brake cables. Um... I, there's still uh, quite a big handful of engine parts that I need. I don't have that much. I'm going to have to order new pistons and stuff, I think, because I don't think I'm going to ever find... I don't think I'm ever going to find, like, six good pistons at the junkyard, right? That's like... I'd say that's almost impossible. Um, what's that? That's a starter. Yeah, we've got, we've got rockers, we got one of the hoses, but we need, like... You know, like the water pump, but we need all the junk... Um, so I think maybe that's a thing we should do. Also, this gas tank. Let's go ahead and throw the gas tank in there now, since we can. Uh, Mr. Wrench, where'd you go? There we go. That's easy. So now, let's see if this other tank had any gas in it. Let's not lose our cap this time. I think this works. Um, I think I have to take this lid off first. That does not appear to be working. Well, it was worth a shot, I guess. I thought you could you could transfer stuff out of your out of fuel tanks into into new fuel tanks, but maybe you can't do that. Oh well. All right. Um looks like we need a couple of wheel covers. We need what, three of them? Yeah, three wheel covers. Um, we still need more or less a full interior. Um, we need all the seats except for the front left one. Uh, we need most of the door winders still. I think I only have... How many of those do I have? I just have one of those. Front left is the only one I have. Um, I, I need pretty much all the glass. All right, so let's start. Get, let's grab our tools here. We need uh, we need the pry tool. We're gonna need. Let's see, I don't think I have to cut off any any more panels. So I don't think I need the cutoff wheel. Yeah, and I think I have enough space now that I can push this kind of in a more reasonable area. Does it look like it's sitting crooked to you? Maybe, kind of? Eh. I think she's alright. Alright, so if we're going to go to the junkyard, we need a customer's car to get there. Um, so let's do that now.
Take a job. Something wrong with handling. No, that sounds like too much work. Rust and repaint. Sure. 800 bucks. What do we got? Oh, we got something a little bit bigger. This is good. Um... that how much more rust is on here is that literally all of it there's no way that's all of the rust nope friggin oh I see a little bit right there I think there's more somewhere where is it Probably behind this giant stupid bumper. And of course it's a color that you literally can't see anything. Oh, there it is, right there, in front of my face. All right. Some right there. Yeah, I see you. I guess, and ultimately, I don't really care if this job gets done correctly or not. I just need a ride to the garage, to the uh, junkyard in a way to drag all my crap back. So, yeah. All right, that fixed the rust. Um, what was this color? 040404. It's almost black. Color. 040404. Yeah, it's basically black. <laughs> All right, are you happy? All right, we're happy. All right, so let's take this pile and head to the junkyard. Um, and see if we can get some of these things that we need. Um, so in my backpack, I've got my pry tool, the screwdriver, or the wrench. Is there anything else I should need? I don't think so. I think that's it. And how do I get there again? I'm here... Going left might be a little bit shorter, but I think going right is a little easier. Well, going left out of my house and then going right clockwise around the, the island. Okay, yeah, I'm not good with directions in this game. It's hard. Um, so we'll go left out of our house. And then take a right at that intersection. And go all the way around, and then we'll take a left. I'm pretty sure I know where I'm at from that point. So, all right, here we go. Here we go with the driving in this game. You know how that always turns out. Where's the freaking brake? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh... So it stalled. That's that's cool. How do we get back? Okay. And we're off. Yeah, see, I think if I'm going to build a car to do the races and stuff with, this thing's too dang heavy. Like, it doesn't feel as fast as it should be. Oh my god, the driving in this game is so bad. Is this my turn? 
No, this is not my turn. It's down here. Excuse me. Could be here. Oh god. I'm glad that so many of you agreed with me that the driving in this game is janky because <laughs> I'd be like, is it? I was starting to think, is, is there something wrong with me? <laughs> and I still think that the mouse steering is easier, but I'm also worried that they like it causes problems. Yeah, we're gonna switch to mouse steering here. It's just way easier for me. All right, so we don't turn there. We go this way. I mean, I could turn there, right? But I turn up here. Yes, right here. So far, so good. I think I'm getting the hang of it here. Alright, we're gonna turn off mouse steering. Okay, I think... I think mouse steering's turned off now. <laughs> For some reason, it was just like wigging out. All right. Uh, no, I want to go reverse. There we go. And back in cockpit view. Turn that off. Hit that. Open that. Get the hell out. All right. Um, let's see what we got. I'm looking at my list of stuff. There isn't that much left that I had written down. Um, but I know there's more than I need that I didn't write down, you know? I know there's like a bunch of trim pieces and stuff that it's gonna it's gonna need to have. <sighs> but I don't know I don't know exactly like which ones they are or where they are or how it works, so a lot of stuff I'm probably just gonna end up buying out of the catalog in the home stretch, you know, just because I don't know exactly what I need. Is that a nice six? That's a V eight valve cover, isn't it? Yeah, don't need that. Bart trim. Ooh, look at that. Fancy carburetors. There's an I6 cylinder head cover, but it's junk. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There's a blue interior, but hardly any of it, and it's shit. That sucks. Uh, do you have good e-brake or yeah, e-brake cables? I don't even know if I can see that. They actually do look good. How do I remove those babies? Um, do I actually have to unbolt the e-brake? I think I might have to do that. Okay, I want to try this. Somebody said you can. Oh, you can. Look at that. You can use your mouse wheel to select your your thingy in the the thing that you're going to use out of your bag. That's awesome. Looky there. We learned something today. All right. Oops. Helps if I have it set to the right setting. All right. So that's just the e-brake lever. Um... Nope. How do I get the... 
Ah, I bet it's these guys. And it looks like it just fell through the world, didn't it? Oh, no, it's right here. All right, I will take this. All right, there's that. That was six bucks. Um, can't beat six bucks. Uh, let's let's see. I think my actual lever was good, so I'll just leave that. <sighs> this is mostly just destroyed. I don't know if my gauges are any good in my dash, but I guess we'll figure that out when it when it happens. What's this? B pillar for a wolf. It sucks that I gotta look at all this stupid trim pieces and crap because it's very tedious. It's a red interior, that doesn't help me. Are you blue? Um I can't tell. What the hell color is that? That's green. That's not gonna help me. Alright. Um, oh, here's blue. Well, the left front is good, but that's the only seat that I have is the front left, isn't it? Well, butt stuff. See, there's another one that's only got the left front. I have a feeling I'm going to be buying all that friggin' crap all over again. And I think this is the, the front left door. I think I already have the panels. Man, that sucks. And this one's got the, uh, this is the older one that's got the, just the two headlights. Um, is that the, that doesn't look like the same wheel cover either. There's a lot of variation to these stupid little cars. Um, uh, does this have a good windshield? That has a good windshield. Oh, that's a coupe though. Crap. And that windshield is destroyed. So is that one. Yeah, I think I'm getting to the point where trying to get everything from the junkyard is not going to work out very well for me. Because I'm just going to have to, if if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to sit here and just respawn the junkyard over and over and over again. Trying to get, like, little onesie twosie pieces, and that's just not something that sounds like a lot of fun right now. I would want to, because I really want to, like, save as much money as I can. But I just don't think it's going to be... I just don't think it's going to be very effective. Oh, this one's got a windshield. Oh, and it's got louvers on there. Oh. How do we get this off? Uh, Probably that? Yes. Um, I am absolutely buying these babies. 37 bucks for louvers? Hell yeah. All right, let's um, take this rear window out. That's only seven bucks. Oh, yeah. That is way cheaper. <laughs> okay, um, front windshield. Yep, you're coming with me. 22 bucks. Yep, I'll take it. $22. All right. What else do we need off this piece of crap? This is actually a pretty decent car. Um, let's see. I, I think I need almost all of the glass, don't I? May as well check the winders. Do I have the... Which one do I have? I have the front left one already, so I don't need that one. Uh, let's check this one. Door panel is junk. That winder's broken. Imagine that. But I will take this glass and this glass. Uh, 
Um, so that's 21, and that's 15. So, that's weird. 21, 15. Let's look on this side. Ooh, does this one have any of the trim that I need? What's this? It's a front spoiler. How much is that? 47? I don't know if I necessarily need that. But it's cool. What's this? That's for the I-4. It's a gas tank I don't need. What's this? Something that I can't pick up. All right. Um, whoa. Is this winder any good? Nope, it's not. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to find any of those. But we have glass. And that one is 21 and 15, same as the left side. All right, let's check the front door here. It's even got a nice door panel. Look at that. All right. There's a leaf spring up in the sky. Check that out. <laughs> Sweet. This has got all the glass here, too. Nice. Is this winder any good? No, it is not. Are you kidding me? All right. Looks like I'm buying those new. I'm tired of, I'm tired of finding shitty broken ones. Is it missing? Oh, my God. Are we missing the glass panel here? Yeah, we're missing that one. Bummer. Okay. Front right window, 21 bucks. Um, let's see. I think that's a screwdriver for the rear view mirrors. There's only one of them. And this definitely doesn't have any glass in it, right? Like, uh, pull this off and check, but I don't think it does. And the window winder's broken. Yeah, there's no glass in there. Crap. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, I need my screwdriver. So that's good, right? It's chromed. Right mirror. Shit, what was that? $15? Uh, right mirror. Alright, so I still need a left one. Any of these cars got a left one? Preferably chromed. I left my screwdriver. Shit. Look at that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right here. Nope. There's one. It even looks to be good. Four dollars. Was the other one not fifteen? Was it five? I don't know. You know what? I don't care. Another what's another ten bucks being off on the price of things? Doesn't really matter. Um, see, so this is a coupe or a, a convertible, so the glass isn't the same. Um, this one doesn't have any glass in it. What else do I need, guys? I can't remember. Um, we need wheel covers. I need three of those, right? That one's got a nice set of... 
like turbo fan looking wheels. Only three of them. Balls. There's some like five spokes on that one. There's some five spokes on this one. Oh, this has got glass. Wrong tool. Uh, I need this. And you can go back in there. Okay. Um, does the window winder work? Oh, actually, I don't need that one, do I? And of course, that one's good. That's the one I don't need. All right, if you could pick that up, that would be swell. Need your glass. And I'm pretty sure I have that corner glass already for the front left. So I think this was just the last glass piece I need, right? Uh, yeah, 21 bucks for the front left. All right, and then there was one left rear glass that I need. So I think I got the... Is that the corner one that I got? It's, I mean, it's the corner one that I need for the rear. The left rear, right? Man, it sucks that this isn't the interior that I need. So I can't believe this one... This one looks that good. Oh, wait, that one's missing the glass from there, too. Crud. Well, may as well check the window winder. I know it's going to be bad, but... Yep, sure is. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to probably just end up buying the rest of this junk, because this is a pain in the butthole. Having to check through everything. I know that I've definitely saved some money this way. A lot of money. Um, that's the right rear. Does it have the corner glass? Nope. But, um, yeah, this is a pain in the butt to have to sift through all this garbage to find what you need. Oh, yeah, the wheel covers. Um... Preferably ones that are good. I don't see any good ones. Let's see, those are crap. That one's crap. I don't know if you can clean those up or not, but um, I'm tempted just to buy these mags. But I already got, I already have four wheels on the car, so. <sighs> All right. Um. Yeah, I guess we're done here for now. I think I'm probably just going to end up buying everything else. Buying everything else that I need. Uh, new. Because it just seems like it's... It's going to be... Oh, I forgot that headliner. I forgot that I left that here. Well, this car ought to be big enough. I can shove it in there. So she said. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just happy I got all this glass. Glass is expensive. I think that's all the glass that I need except for like maybe one more corner window on the left rear or something like that. It's hard to keep track of all this junk. Even when writing it down, I still forget stuff. We got both of our mirrors. Got our stupid handbrake cable. That's that's important. There is no way that's going to stay, is it? <laughs> I hope it makes it. <laughs> and we got these sweet louvers that I can't pick up. There we go. I think even those will fit back here. No, don't put them on the window yet. Okay. 
All right, let's see if I can shove this thing in here somehow. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Just settle down. Settle down. Find your center. But you're not finding your center. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Quick. <laughs> Before it comes springing out of there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, this is fine. This is just... This is fine. This is fine. All right. Um, mouse steering activated. Oh wait. Uh, I should have done that. Uh, oh wait. I already need to do that. Okay. Mouse steering activated. We're going. Can't really see, but it could be worse. Try to get home before it gets dark. <laughs> this is making me nervous. All right. Okay. Whew. I think we're going to make it, guys. <laughs> Every time we make a trip to the junkyard, it's like the most nerve-wracking thing. It's like it doesn't even really matter, right? This isn't, this isn't my car. I can just abandon the job, and I'm only out, like, 20 bucks for a can of paint. But, uh... Not surprisingly, it seems like the cars do handle a little better than the truck does. The truck seems really, really twitchy and weird. Unless the one that I had was just already kind of screwed up from the be to begin with. Alright, I think this is the turn that I need to take. Is it a left turn into my house? Or is it a, Oh, it's right here, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. Okay, we made it. Woohoo! All right. Turn that off. Lock that in. Turn this off. We are good to go. All right. And we even got our headliner home. That's rather impressive, I'd say. All right, where's my e-brake cables? Did they make it? They did. Woo! We can we can install those babies right now. Boom. All right. All right. Got all this glass, which you can't see when it's on the ground. Um. Yeah, maybe they just like stack it up out here. Man, I gotta I gotta replace the uh, front windshield on my Shrako. Well, I don't have to replace it. Um, I got a new seal, and um, and I also am gonna repair some rust. That's, you know, in the window channel because that's a common thing for Mark One Volkswagens. Um, and I am absolutely dreading that. Um, shit. Did, that, did I lose it? Nope, it's there. I am not looking forward to that job because, uh, the windshields are almost impossible to find new if I screw it up. And if you do find them new, they are ridiculously expensive. Um, so I'm hoping that it'll all go well. That's something I'm probably going to tackle here soon. I, I 
can't do a full respray on the car right now, but um Oh man. It doesn't like it. Is it maybe because it's not clean enough? Let's hope that's what it is. I didn't have to clean the last car, but then again, that one wasn't a paint job either. That was a uh like an air filter or something, so Ah, crap. Too far away for the hose. For the usual, one of my chickens is going nuts out there. Thankfully, I think she's in the coop, so you probably can't hear her, but... Yeah. It's impossible to get quiet time to record <laughs> around here. Oh, man, that's going to be like... It's just far enough away that I can't... Here, let's see if I shove it a little bit farther. All right, is that clean enough for you? Looks good to me. That's so cool that you can angle the hose. I did not know you could do that. I like, you know, I don't know if it makes any difference, but okay, is this good enough for you? Whoops. Um. Yeah, this job. It's still not good. What? What is it? What does it want? Is it because that's not clean? Ugh, I missed a spot. <clears throat> Jeez, I missed this whole side of the car. I could have sworn I washed it. Like there was still some on the hood too. This is a big car to wash. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, look at it. This is still still a bunch of dirt all over this door. Did it get dirty just me pushing it? <laughs> all right, please say that's good enough now. All right. Uh, you know what? Who cares? Whatever. It doesn't matter. I just needed a ride to the junkyard, so I got it. Um, let's, uh, let's make the time pass here real quick, like. There we go. Ah, so now we can look into getting these doors put together. Um, let's just do one at a time here. All right, that one's done. <laughs> Looks like there's still some on this side, too. This is a good time to do this when you have them all torn apart. Yeah, I think that one's good now. Um, all right, so let's bring it over here and wash it. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Blasting myself in the face. Alright. Giggity. Alright, now we can paint her. You can angle the look at this. I mean I've played this game how long and I didn't know you could do that. Holy crap, that makes things way easier. No freaking way. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, 
No, I don't want the jack to come with me here. Boom, that's painted. All right, um, which freaking door is this? Uh, rear left, okay. Doink. All right, where's my wrench? It's in my bag. Here, let's dump all this crap out. And... Stick this guy on there. There we go, door. All right, so now we need... The winder for the left rear, which I don't think I have. Yeah, I only have the front left one, so let's get that winder. Lad, uh, body? Probably windows, huh? Um, rear left. All right, so those are 40 bucks a crack. All right, um, gonna make sure I write it down here. All right, I had it. There we go. Wrench. All right, now we need um, the rear left window glass. That was right rear, rear, rear left, this guy, right here. All right. There's that, and now the rear left triangle piece, is, is that this guy right here? The one that just went through the, yeah. Boom. All right, and now we do not have a left rear door panel, do we? Front. That's a rear right, but not a rear left. It's the only one we don't have, and I don't know if you can get the blue ones in the catalog or not. Uh, Interior. Nope. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. All right, so I'm going to have to get that from the junkyard. Ah, that blows. Let's clean this glass here. All right, so this door is complete, except for the interior panel. And it even fits pretty good. <laughs> cool. All right, next. This is the front right. There we go. The store is really, really pooched. I think this was one of the doors that was originally on it. Also looks like it might be bent there. I can't really tell. Come on, baby, come clean, come clean. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. And this door was completely like munted. All right. 
Oh, there we go. I wonder if that got it all. Nope. Shit burgers. I know this part's going to be really hard to get, too. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. I'm going to struggle with that one for sure. All right, I'm going to grab the hammer and see if I can if I can pound anything on this. I don't know if it's going to let me or not. It doesn't look like it's going to let me. I think it probably has to be mounted to the car, I bet. It looks like stuff is tweaked on this one, but maybe it's not. Um, all right, this is the, what is it, front right? Front right glass. Uh, well, I need the window winder for the front right, too, don't I? Uh, winders, front right. Window left, front right, this guy. All right. I hate how the like the the threshold for like why aren't you going on? Why aren't you going on? So it'll it'll go on and then it won't there we go. Like the threshold for the distance to to pick up stuff and to reach stuff. Is just far enough away that when you're standing, you can't get most of it. <laughs> I feel like that was done intentionally. Oh, the glass, the glass, the glass. All right, there it is. Boom. Okay. All right, let's take this over here and give it a clean. Give her a flip. Oop. All right. Whoops. Um, paint. Where are you? Right here. Ah, okay. Didn't get very far with that one. That's what I like to do when I freshly paint things, is to flip it over into the grass on the freshly painted side down. How else are you going to protect it? <laughs> God, are you, aren't you glad you don't have to wait for paint to dry in this game? Oh my lord. Okay, uh, wrench. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna grab. I think this door is actually straight. It just looked weird because of the the streaks and stuff, but I think it's straight. Yeah, it is. All right. All right, we don't gotta worry about that one. And is everything painted correctly? It is. Um. Let's see all the glasses in there. We need the door panel front right. I have that one. Uh, right here. There we go. Ah, oh, yes, this is satisfying. We're actually getting crap put together on this car. All right, before I forget, I needed to, um... Stick... Stick those on there, so this thing doesn't roll away on me. There we go. Now, so now the e-brake should work. Ha! Okay. 
<laughs> little victories, little victories. All right, next door. I wish this thing was a coop. All right, right rear. Do I have any rust to fix on this one? I do not. I'm going to have to paint this one. Holy crap. All right. Um, all right, right rear. Is that this guy? Yeah, that's just this one. Oh, I need the winder. Sure do. Right rear. All right. Okay, wrench. There we go. And the corner glass, which I think is this little one here. Yep. All right, let's clean it up. I don't even think we have to paint this one. Unless it's the wrong color, but I think I'm pretty sure it's the right color. Excellent. Right rear. Wrench, 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 wrench. Oh. All right. Another door complete. That one even fits too. All right. Right rear panel. Do I have that one? I think it's this one right here, isn't it? Yep, right here. All right, look at us go. Starting to look like a car now. <clears throat> Holy crapper. All right, one more dough. Where is it? Do I not have that door yet? Wait a tick. Did I actually forget to get a door? Uh, did I really do that? Wow, I'm missing a door. Well, I feel dumb. Uh, crap. So I need a left front door. I have the panel. And I need a left rear panel. <sighs> okay. Um, so we're going to have to make another trip to the junkyard. I think what I'm going to do... Well, here. Now that I can do it right now, let's just do it. Oh, do I have to use the tool to install that? I think I do. That is the wind. Oh, that's the rear one. Okay. Thought for sure that said the front. I'm like, why isn't this working? Okay. Okay. Clean. Holy crap, we are we are just getting stuff done. How much is this thing worth now? 5600 bucks. So we would definitely make money if I sold it right now. Um but I think I think we're going to be cuz I don't think we need a whole lot of extra stuff to um to get it like com all the way completely done, you know? Um 
So let's see. Let's go to the. Uh, Yeah, that's the window for the front left, and this is the rear left corner window. I have that one, don't I? Yeah, that one's in. Are you missing any of the other windows? I'm, I'm, I think these are all complete, aren't they? I need the front. I need the front left corner window. I have the front left regular glass so I don't need this um, I said I don't need there we go oh the mirrors I about those all right I'm not gonna worry about those right now um so let's go to the junkyard and I need a front left door I know that some of those cars had good front left doors too which pisses me off but whatever um Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I need a rear view mirror as well. <clears throat> this front left door uh, and the front left corner glass. I don't need the main glass, though. And, of course, the window winder. And a rear left panel. Okay, let's, um... Let's go. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, to save time, uh, I'm just going to see if I can find the parts in here. Hmm. Take a drink real quick. Um, I'm going to see if I can find the parts in here, and if they are, I'm just going to buy them, uh, leave them in a stack outside, and then I'll take another customer car down to pick them up later. It seems like you can't get the parts delivered for like a fee. That would be sweet. All right. Come on, baby. Have the stuff I need. The rest of the interior parts would be nice, too. Come on, come on, come on. Do, 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 do. We wait for it to wig out here for a minute. All right. Uh. Okay, I heard something crash. That that's, that can't be good. Oh, of course, that's not my car. Arr. Okay, what's this? Is it something I need? Oh, nope. It is most definitely not. What's this? Do I need this? Front left. Might need that. I'm going to buy it just in case. There's a bad wind to lift. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. What's in here? Blue interior. None of it's any good. Damn. Uh, got more stuff having a meltdown over here. None of this junk I need. What's this? I4 high performance crank. That's pretty cool. What's this? Chain for the hardy. Chad Bart exhaust. Lad Lad Coop exhaust. I need that. V8 and I6. No way. Aw, oh, hook me up. That was a hundred bucks, wasn't it? Um... All right, that was a good deal. Let's see here. Any other screaming deals? Um, ooh, this is a lovely coupe that's doesn't have blue interior. Does have a rear view mirror though, which I'm pretty sure that's a screw that takes that out. Man, whoever told me about that little tip for using the mouse wheel genius now this isn't chrome like all the rest of the mirrors are but um whatever i don't care that's two bucks um for 
for two dollars i am not going to care what freaking color it is ah uh, okay controls together here um there is nothing else in this that i can use <clears throat> Um, oh, actually, uh, check the window winder. It was the left rear one that I needed, right? I'm sure it's no good. It doesn't even have one. Cool. All right. There's a Neve that doesn't have anything I can use. There weren't any other Lottas in here. That was the only one. Other than this convertible one, which doesn't help me either. Everything in that's different. There's a head gasket for the i6. Is that good? That looks good to me. I'm taking it. Seven bucks. All right. Parts are parts, right? Um... Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed, man. There was uh, not that much crap here. What's this? Front right for the wolf. Yeah, that doesn't help me. There's an exhaust manifold for the i6. Do I have one of those? I can't remember if I bought one of those or not. I'm taking it. That's twenty-seven dollars. It was that cheap. I may as well grab it. Um, I don't want to leave my wrench here. That would be bad. Um, I don't see anything else here I can need. Who let you in? Oh, that's a good one. You got me. Oh, there's a timing cover for the ice. Oh, that's the diesel one. Yeah, that wouldn't help me. All right. Um, let's pack it up. Let's go home. Let's, uh, I got, this is a score right here. This is a big time score. Pretty happy about that. All right. Um, let's see here. Tax to the house and we'll... Bonk, 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 bonk. Hopefully the junkyard's open at nine. All right, let's see what we got. And we wait. Do, 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 do. Pretty much any time I have to wait on anything in a game or doing something on the computer or if I'm at a store and I'm waiting for somebody to check out or whatever, the the stupid Monty Python intermission music goes through my head every single time. Every time. That's why I use it so much in my videos, too. I just, I can't help it. <laughs> it's just always there. It's a part of me. All right, here we go. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going in. I'm going in. Ready or not? Um, look at all this junk. Ooh, that's a fancy manifold right there. Uh, what's this? This for the i6? V8. Nope. All right. Broken window winder. See, that's, that's another exhaust manifold for the i6, but it looks totally different than the one that I had. Fuel pump, i4. Okay. All right, do we get any Lottas in here? Wait, rear left door? No, that's not the one I need. All right. Man, look at all this pile of junk. What's this? Front left for a Jesse. Yep, yeah, that doesn't help. Wolf. Uh, 
Blower hood for the lad. That's cool. There's a blower scoop. Look at that. Ha! Um, there's a Neve. I don't need anything from that. I don't need any of this crap. Ooh, check it out. Roll cage. For a lad. Sweet. Yeah, I'm not using that. <laughs> um, Wolf windows. Come on, guys. Work with me here. Uh, I6 crank. I'm pretty sure I already have one of those. This is a different head gasket. I think that's the one that I need. I think the one that I got was for the... Um, for the i6D, the diesel. I'm, I'm concerned about that manifold too, because it looks different. That's the convertible lifter, that doesn't help me. That's not a lad. Uh, front right, yep, that doesn't help me either. I think the game knows that I need a lot of parts and it's not putting them in here for me. There's not a single lot of in here. Except that... Can, wait. Yeah, there's not a single lot of in here today. Really? Flippin' heck. Alright. Um, yeah. Just, there's nothing. There's nothing. Alright, so let me go back to this, uh, this manifold right here. I wonder if this is the one that I need. But it says exhaust manifold L for the I6. Lad, Lad, Coop, Neve, Chad, Bart, Jesse, Wolf. I6. Which I6, though? Um. Yeah, see, this head gasket's the one that I bought. And that's not correct. The one that I just bought this time is the right one. Because it wasn't labeled correctly. Um, very interesting. Alright, does anything else have an I6 in it that I can look at? Oh, this one does. Look at that. Okay, yeah. So this is the head gasket that I just bought. Um... I don't need a transmission. And there's like two, three good pistons in here. Is it really worth it to uh, try and extract these pistons? I don't think it is. I don't have any way of getting this thing up in the air. And there's no exhaust manifold in there, so I can't look and see how that's set up. All right, there's an I6D with the weird intake manifold. Okay, see, this is the other manifold that I bought. And I think that's wrong. Okay, so I need to buy that other one that looks shitty. Yep, I think that's what I need to do. Um, okay. Yep, there we go. See? I'm pretty sure I already have the, uh, the intake manifold. Yep, there's the exhaust manifold right there. Okay, so I need to buy that one. Alright, that's fine. Ah, Stuart, there's nothing else on that car I can use. Oh! It's got an I-4. That has nothing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now we're getting it straight. Alright, so let's buy this guy. That's 60 bucks. I'm pretty sure that was the same. No, it was more expensive. Of course it was. <laughs> okay, alright. Well... We got some things. Um, I6D engine fan. Yeah, I don't want that. All right, let's go. We're amassing a small pile of things. Yeah, it says I6D now. I, I could have sworn that it just said I6 before. But here's the right head gasket. That head gasket is wrong.
Yes. Okay. Back home. All right. I'm wasting too much time here. Um. Bonk, 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 bonk. Back to the garage. Junkyard. Here we go. Ugh. Good time to get a drink. Just wait for it. Just waiting a little bit longer. Still waiting. Almost there. This freaking takes so long that by the time it by the time it's done, I can't remember what I need. <laughs> left rear door panel, front left door. Um Let's see, front left glass. Or no, I think I already have the glass, right? But I don't have the corner glass. I think that's correct. All right, let's let's look. Plus, I get I get uh, preoccupied with the engine parts too because I love that stuff. Um, that's a interesting air cleaner. Lots of V8 one for the for the six pack probably. Okay, cylinder head for the I6. Is this one good? That doesn't look good to me. Yeah, that doesn't look good to me. Bummer. All right, because I need that. Well, now I know what it looks like. I've actually never built the I6 in this game, so um, the only reason why I did it is because it was the first. Ninja block that showed up that was cheap, so just grabbed it. Um, this is an I6. Is the head good? Nope. There's basically nothing good on that. All right. <laughs> Moving on. I already got a crank. I don't need that. All right, Jesse. V8. Um. None of this stuff is for a lot of... What's this? Another I-6. Uh, three more good pistons. Yeah, see, if I could have finagled the pistons out of the uh, that other one, um, I would have had enough for a full set, but... Oh, well. Again, I don't think there's any ladders in here. There's more louvers. <laughs> That's a big ass truck right there. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, yeah. No ladas. Once again. Twice in a row. Ugh. There's another I six. Um. Let's have a good. Harmonic damper and cover? It does. Let me see if I can nab some of this crap. At least it's not... It won't be a completely useless trip. Crankshaft pulley. This front cover I need. Uh, I don't have any of this timing gear. I'm pretty sure I already have a cam, don't I? That stuff looks bad. Um... Actually, you know what I can do? 
can just do this. Uh, this might work. Um... Don't need that. What is that? Oh, that's a starter. Is that it? Did I get it? Damn. Still missed one somewhere. Um, it's loose. That's loose. Oh. Fuel line. Which is good. <laughs> I really, really thought that was going to work. Usually with these, you can kind of like, um, okay, all right, hold on. Maybe I can do this. Oh, where am I? Oh, is that, is that it? Did I get it? I'm, I'm loosening all kinds of crap, but I don't know if it's any of it's the stuff that I need here. Loosen it all. Loosen everything. It's all coming out. Let's see. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. Ah. All right. I've made a mess. All right. Here we go. Let's see if I can shove this back over there. Well, that disconnected the uh, drive shaft. I want like the transmission to disconnect here. That should have been both of the cross member bolts there. <laughs> member. <laughs> oh, was that it? Uh, I don't think that was it. Uh, what is holding you in? That one. That's what was holding it. There we go. Everything explodes out. Okay. So now we can pick this piece of crap up. This clutch actually looks like it's decent. Um, oh, the disc isn't, but the pressure plate is. You get out of here. All right, Mr. Flywheel is good. Um, That's a bunch of bolts on an oil pan. Jeez. All right. That's trash. And some of these are good here. So. Oh, God. We're causing a meltdown here. They're freaking it out. Freaking it out. There. Just, just shake them all out. There we go. <laughs> All right, we got a distributor here that's good. We've got a coil that's not good. But we can use that. Anything else on this block I need? I mean, the, the block that I have is already good. 
Yeah, everything else on this is crap. I don't need... Do I need the camshaft? I can't remember if I need the camshaft or not. Okay, so... That's a good piston. 12 bucks. 21, 11, 17, 19 for the distributor. Uh, let me write these down here. Uh, let's see here. Flywheel, uh, 35. Pressure plate, nine bucks. All right, give me that, give me that. So we've got, what, four pistons? So we need a couple more. Um, timing cover, free, sweet. Camshaft sprocket, 21 bucks. Um, 21, crankshaft pulley, 13. All right. Uh, what is this? I don't need that. I don't need that. Um, fuel line, four bucks. Why not? All right, so I need two more pistons. Um, I, I can't remember if I need the cam or not, but I, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Uh, since I'm here. I think I just need that. And... Oh god, where'd it go? It disappeared. Or did I just buy it? I think I bought it. I didn't even see how much it was. What is going on here? <laughs> okay, that's fun. Sure. All right. Yep. You just, uh, you do you there, engine block. <sighs> anyway, so there was another I-6 over here somewhere. Where was it? Um... Right here. So I wonder if I can bring, if I can yank this one out too. I'm going to try it. Uh, and then I should be able to get the rest of the, I should be able to get the rest of the parts that I need to get most of the engine put together too, which was kind of a bonus. I wasn't really looking to do that this episode, but if the stuff's here, then I'm going to take it. Let's get this exhaust out of here. It's just all in my all in my grill piece. Um that should be the starter. Uh nope, that was not the starter. Here, let's get this stupid manifold off. Only six bolts holding that sucker on there. Wah! Okay. Get out of here. All right. Let's just, let's just start unbolting everything. It's a bummer that starter is not good either. All right. Uh... Yeah, I think I can do this without having to unbolt the entire transmission, so... Um, like, unbolt it from the rest of the car. Right. Coming out? Is that it? that out of here. No, still something attached. So we got both of those. I think there's like one more bolt that I can't reach down at the bottom. 
Or maybe I do have to take the whole transmission out. I don't know. Oh, well, that was something. What was it? Uh, let me in. I want to do unbolt you. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, jeez, I can't even like get in this thing. Um. Oh, it came off. The transmission came off. All right. So that should I be able to? Yes. Yes. Okay. This got a good oil pan, so I'm taking that. All right, you can come off. All right, may as well check the um, clutch plate on this one. It's bad too, so yippee. All right. Um, so I need two of these pistons, right? I need two good ones. Wait, that one's not. Wait, does this not even have two good pistons? Oh, that'd be just a kick in the balls, wouldn't it? Here, let's flip you over. So this head isn't good either, which I, I need a head. Uh, come off of there. So let me take this off without removing all the rockers. That would be swell. Don't think it's gonna wait for that one. Yep, so I gotta take them all off. All right, get out of here. Um, excuse me. Oh, there it is. I forgot one, two little bolts there. Man, uh, all that work, and it only has one good piston. Well, I guess I'll take it. Well, that totally blows. Well, I'm taking it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this oil pan. Taking that, too. What was that, 14 bucks? Man, that was kind of a waste of time. Crap. Um, were there any other I-6s here? I don't think there were. There's that one. Okay, this one's got... Okay, this was the one that I was thinking of that had good pistons. Well, crapola. All right, let's see if I can yank this one out, too. Uh, I think I got that. Yep. Uh, this one. This one looks like it's got a good fan, but the water pump is not any good, which is a little bit unusual. But right, take those wires off. Right. Another bad starter. All right, that one came right out, so you don't have to take the whole transmission. I don't know why the other ones were getting stuck, but... Let's see, I already got a distributor, right? Um, all right, let's take this fan, because that's good. Um, 
We don't need that. Uh, did I miss one? Oh, yep, there it is. All right. Um, let's see. I got that. I got the front cover, right? I got that already. Uh, I wonder if the timing gear is any good on this. Well, not the gear itself, but the, the chain and stuff. Uh, oh, it looks like it's okay. Sweet. All right, I think I need my pry tool for that. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. So that chain is good. This is good. So I'm going to take both of those. At least I got that. Um, oh yeah. This probably doesn't have a good clutch since the pressure plate's dinked, but... May as well check. Oh, it is good. Look at that. All right. You were coming with me. This is exciting. We're getting a lot of stuff here. It just sucks you have to disassemble, like... 15 engines to get everything you need. <laughs> okay, here, flip you over. That's not what I wanted to do. Flip you over. Got another good oil pan. Don't forget a bolt. There it is. Okay, there's that. And now let's see which pistons are good here. All right, those two right there. And I think those are the two that I need. Or did I get... I think I got that one off that other engine, right? You know what? I'm taking them both. I don't care. All right. Take you, and we'll take you. And we'll take the fan for 16. Uh... Clutch plate, $43. Damn. For a used clutch? Okay. Timing chain, 60 bucks. Wow. That's a lot. Um, crank sprocket. What is that? $9? All right. This crap we don't need. Um, okay, man, phew, uh, well, that's like, that's like most of the engine, I think, um, all right, let's head back home, and we can assess, uh, assess what we're doing here, and then I think we can call it a day, because... Uh, this has been this has been a lot of work. I was really kind of hoping to get it done today. I didn't think we would, but um, yeah, I've got a massive pile of parts here that I need to bring back. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to involve getting another customer car and bringing it back home. So <sighs> I'll go back home and uh, see where we're at with this thing. Um, I didn't find a door. Um. Or a door panel for this one either. So that's what we still need. Um, we need... Yeah, we do need the glass for that door too, don't we? Oh no, it's right here. It's right here. Front left. Okay. Yeah. So we still have a lot of work to do. Um, but this car is coming together. It's uh, it's now worth 5800 bucks, Um And that's pretty good. Uh, and we've got almost, we've got pretty much everything we need to install this, uh, to, to get this engine together. We've, we've got probably 90% of it, I'd say. Um, so yeah, this is good. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to call this episode here. 
Um, we got, like I said, we got a boatload of stuff done. Why isn't that closing? It closed before. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna la la la. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I had a good time. Um, getting this turd together. This was much less frustrating than the other day. Uh, so yeah, I think in the next episode we will probably get this thing, if not fully together, at least probably running. I hope, um, you know, like I said, the finding this interior stuff is going to be a pain in the ass, but, uh, that'll, uh, that'll be probably the last part that I'll have to do. So, so yeah, follow along, um, you know, subscribe to the channels. If you want to see updates to how this turns out, um, you know, leave a comment down below and see if you can guess how much I'll get for this thing when it's done. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.